Hello friends, it's Kiona Iwa from Record Pages again. I am back because I've been getting a lot of questions on what do you actually do with the journal? And the answer is anything you want. So uh, I have collected a few of the journals that I have filled over the years. I have always loved paper. You give me a piece of paper, receipt, anything to write on, anywhere I am, and I will I will fill it up with something. So I just wanted to um, give you a couple ideas and show you what I do. So. I uh, have been journaling since I was a little girl, and unfortunately, I threw away quite a few of them, but I have some classy and non-classy journals, and I just wanted to share with you to show you that you can do anything with a journal. Take a piece of paper and enjoy it. So I have a couple super fancy college ruled notebooks, um, and I used these because I knew it would give me like no fear to fill it up, mess it up. Um, I've got a, a word in here, just stuffed in there. Um, but honestly, at first, I just spent a lot of time just writing because um, I need to write things down to process them. So everything in life ended up being written down. Um, and then if I would write down something or come across a situation in life that I really wanted to remember really well, then I would write it because my, or I would doodle around it because my philosophy was, um, if it's really pretty, I'll look at it again and I'll reread it. So anyway, I have a few pages in here that are doodled a lot, but this just goes to show, um, you can do it. You can journal on anything and you can fill it with doodles. You can fill it with writing, um, whatever it is. This is another notebook that I think came second. Um, but it's just plum full of writing and it's got a few doodles um, just to like bring more attention to the points that I thought were extra important. Um, this was actually my first most fancy journal. Um, as you can see it's pretty large but I used to um, write stories and stuff so I have the beginnings of journals, you know, from like a 12 year old age. <laughs> um, and I just filled this thing plump full. I've got letters in here from people, um, story about a boy having adventures, letters, journaling. Um, when I was younger, I used to think it was fun to change fonts or change handwriting. So I would do stuff like that. This was a more Fancy journaling. Um, anyway, just different colors, different everything. And I know some people don't want to ruin a, a pretty sheet of paper or ruin a journal or something. And there's just there's just really no reason to worry about it. You just put it down and you, you can look at it again or you don't have to. But it's kind of therapeutic as far as I'm concerned. Um, this is a more recent journal and I use this one mostly for uh, devotions. So as I'm going through my own devotions, um, going to Bible study books, going to sermons, you know, and there's a little bit of doodling in here, but this was mostly for um, something that I wanted to say and be able to look back and be like, okay, this was a lesson that I learned. and. Um, I will stay focused on this or I'll, I, I can go back and, and relearn the lesson. You know what I mean? Um, I kind of keep my journals separated. So I have, I don't generally do a whole bunch of different things in the same journal. So this is, this was actually my first art journal and it looks, you know, a little bit not classy, but um, I, this has got, you know, like 10 year old me <laughs> art stuff in it, but uh, I've been adding to it over the years, and they got a little better, I promise. <laughs> Some of these are embarrassing, but um, yeah, just lots of practice. These were cutouts. I was obsessed with um, Native American culture when I was younger, and so a lot of my drawings had to do with living off the land. Um, so just really simple. You can see none of them are super high quality. Um, they were just, actually this was one of my favorites, this was like dreaming and what if you, you know you could open a rock and go into a whole new world, like, how cool would that be? Anyway, um, that was the end of that, this is a 
scene. I don't remember where that was. I think maybe we were on a road trip and I drew that. Anyway, just, um, it doesn't have to, just to have an art journal, you don't have to be some amazing artist before you put it in a book. You just, just put it in there. So, and sometimes you'll be surprised. Uh, this book I actually bought, uh, while I was dating Chris, my husband now, and, um, I was going to use it as one of those books where you, you write or doodle and you send it back and forth, but turns out shipping is expensive and uh, I was really busy at the time, so it didn't really work out. Anyway, but I do have some, <laughs> some doodling stuff in here. So it started out as like a writing letters and a lot of these pictures are not my own. Like I drew them, but I looked at pictures to draw them from them. So these are not Kiona original. That makes sense. Um, oh, this is a self-portrait from a long time ago. And this has got to be close to the end. I was doing illustrations for a book for my grandma, and I was trying to develop a character. So this is me practicing that. Um, so you can see lots of just scribbles, lots of note-taking. And I was practicing my watercoloring. This paper is not perfect for watercoloring, which is why I kind of switched. Anyway, just um, a few different things. And then um, you can do different types of journaling, like art journaling, on separate sheets of paper, which is what I like to do, and then um, cut them out and put them in another journal or put them, use them as a card or something like that. So there's just, there's just so many different options. So this is a watercolor notepad, just a normal cheap one, and I've actually got a bunch of different collections in here. So these are just some um, watercolors I did. This was for a play, an opera contest in Bozeman. It was really fun. Um, these are illustrations that I did for a book. Um, my grandma wrote a book about my cousin Jeff. And uh, anyway, these were some of the illustrations. There's a whole bunch in there. Um, then there was another book she wrote about her childhood, and I did some more real-life sketches. Anyway, so these um, got copied and cut out and put in other um, journals. This is my brother's dog, Boss. You can see that we were out in the snow, and I was practicing my watercoloring. It's not all super fancy, but... It was just fun. Anyway, a lot of these um, are not in this book anymore because they've been cut out and given to people or glued into another book or something. So just any kind of paper, anything. And something that I thought would be fun once I've started doing these junk journals is to take like one of these coloring books. Have you seen these adult coloring books around? There's so many different kinds, but um, they take forever just to do one picture. But I thought it would be a blast to take one of these papers, and I got papers falling out here, um, take one of these and use them as just a sheet in your journal, and then you can color it whenever, you know, when you just have to like sit and think for a while or whatever. Anyway, this book is by Johanna Bassford. It's called The Secret Garden, and um, I just love this book. I just love to grab it with a box of colored pencils, and I just sit down and enjoy myself for a while. So anyway, there's that. Um, then I've also got different types of journals that I've kind of grown into after getting married. Um, this is again a devotional journal that I made for myself in a kind of junk journal style. So this is from an altered book and I sewed in the signatures and I've got a couple tabs in there you can see but I will grow more um, over time. This is coffee dyed uh, like a lace fabric. It's really pretty. Anyway, um, I use this for like my devotions, for whatever I'm thinking about, for note keeping, like um, somebody told me to read a book or there was a girl who sold some really good uh, lipstick and I wrote a note and kept it in here and um, this is just kind of like my everything smash book. <laughs> um, so, and for those of you that don't know, a smash book is where you just take anything that you like or that you think is pretty and you just smash it in there, hence the name smash book. So it's no particular order, no plan or anything, you just 
kind of stick it all in there. It's got lots of pockets in here. Um, yeah, magazine cutouts. This was a lovely drawing that my nephew Weston drew for me. And um, yeah, anyway, so this is the journal that I'm currently using. I am about already a quarter of the way done with it. I have been having just a blast with it. I've just been whipping through it really fast. Um, and then I really like to make journals for my husband, as you can tell from the other one. Um, this was the first one I made for him that I actually completed, and it is 365 love letters per se. So there's one for each day, and I, um, this was kind of our verse from the wedding. I have found the one who my soul loves, Song of Solomon. And um, this was pre-junk journal, so uh, it's just kind of traditional. There's doodles through the whole thing, but then there's, um, so each day, and they're not like dated, you know, like uh, 2018, such and such, you know. Um, but there's, you know, January 1st, January 2nd, you know, because you have those every year. Anyway, so the point was to just write down memories that we had together, things that I love about him, um, adventures we had together, just, you know, whatever, and put it all in here. And it was kind of time consuming, but since they're so short, they're just wonderful. And I think it's going to be a wonderful thing to go back and look at throughout my whole life, through our, our whole marriage. So every morning, wake up and read one of these and then if we skip a morning we do like two or three or whatever anyway um this was really fun and this was just a journal that i bought not one that i made but it fit the bill perfectly there's not a whole lot of art in here but um it was a lot of fun so that's what else you can do with journals if you want to write love letters to your husband um then i took that a step further and I made a journal. And this is, again, an altered book that I covered with a, uh, um, a calendar picture. We love to sail. This family has a sailboat, and we have loved, to, I've learned how to sail since then. Um, so that's that connection. And then this is just a collection of love letters. So. Um, as you can see, I've left the original pages in the book, in this one, and then I'm just painting over the pages and writing on them. So it's a little bit different than most pages, but um, this here is a map of where we went for our honeymoon. And a lot of these sayings have symbolism and references to our dating, um, to our relationship. This is a picture of us, and there's lots of symbolism and stuff in here and pictures and then um, just every so often I will write a love letter so this love letter is a few different pages and then um, this is the beginning foundation of another one we like to do um, races together like car races so um, these were you have to get these bracelets to be you know, to say that you signed your life away to be able to do the races. <laughs> um, anyway, so I'm in the middle of writing this love letter to him. It's more of like a journaling, I love you. And then as it goes, I will um, write more letters. So this will be a book that I can save for years and years and continue adding to. And then um, I had so much fun putting this book together and doing like the daily love letter idea that I made him another one for this year and this one um, is covered with scrap paper and coffee dyed all different colors like different um, darknesses I guess of, of coffee so all different types of papers and scraps all put together so anyway this is this book and this is an altered book too but I sewed in the signatures and I did a bunch of different types of papers in here so I've got um, just normal uh, like scrapbook paper um, coffee paper coffee dyed paper and then some really heavy duty watercolor paper um, music sheets uh, postcards like vintage postcards um, made little mini booklets to go in here so as the year goes 
you know, I'll fill one out. Here's another one. Um, so a lot of this is empty because I've just started this one. We'll start this, start actually reading things for January of 2019. But anyway, this is the book I'm working on now. So anyway, I think I went through my pile of journals here, but I have a lot more that I've gotten rid of or just couldn't didn't want to pull in to make this video too long, but I just wanted to share with you that there are so many different ways. There's no right or wrong way to fill a journal. Like you can make them super fancy, like put a lot of time into it like this, or you can just go store buy it, or for goodness sake, use a college ruled notebook. So, but you can just put anything, just use your imagination and fill them up, art or writing or writing letters to somebody else or memory keeping or whatever it is that floats your boat, I guess. Anyway, um, I hope this inspires you to go fill some of your own journals, and I hope it takes away some of the fear of ruining a, a pretty looking journal. Just throw it in there. It'll work. Anyway, have a good rest of your day, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.